Hi there, it's Kurt with Kurt Tanner Motor Cars. Today we have on offer this 1974 Triumph TR6 convertible. It's finished in the very attractive Mallard blue with a tan interior. It's also fitted with a luggage rack, uh, standard tires with red line Michelins. It's a four speed car. And um, we purchased this car recently from back east and um, it's, it's a very large, very original car, 88,000 original miles on it. It's had one repaint. The body is great on the car. If you look underneath, it's, uh, it's completely straight, accident-free, rust-free. It has had one pretty nice repaint, but the rest of the car is hugely original. Um, I'll go by panel by panel here. You can see the quality of the paint is lovely, really glossy, really just liquid, liquid, you know, really a, a great wet look to this paint. So paintwork is quite above average for a TR6. Some fingerprints on the door there, but, but uh, yeah, paint is really spectacular on it. Um, Unfortunately, there's a very, very slight, just a slight bump here on the nose, but you know, from back here, you can't really tell. But, but yeah, quality of the paint's really nice for a TR6. It's been resprayed, and um, it's fitted with uh, Michelin red lines all the way around. So these are these are the original quality um, original tires that were designed for a TR6. all the way around, they're in pretty good shape. Um, this car was delivered new, I believe, in San Francisco and uh, eventually worked its way to the East Coast where, where we bought it. But uh, yeah, no, no bubbling, no issues going on whatsoever with the rockers. You know, they've got all the original undercoating fitted still, that's been sprayed on. Um, Chrome's in excellent condition. The, the previous owner was just fitting a new rubber uh, on the windshield and unfortunately he came out the next day and noticed a split in the windshield. So so that needs to be replaced. But um, I'll show you the interior here. The interior is impressively original. So original door panels. Um, he, put a, he fitted a brand new wood dash because the original was starting to get a bit of uh, damage. So... But crash pads are beautiful, top pads gorgeous, original carpets fitted. They are showing some wear, but you can see over here, original original carpets, original floor mat. Um, door panels are nice. They're, they, they are starting to curve a little bit. Um, seats are the original, amazingly. They're in great condition, but they do need, um, they do need a, a, a new padding kit here. You can see it's just all kind of floppy and loose. They are comfortable though. I mean, I was t I just took it for a drive and uh, the driver's side's quite nice. So this is the original top boot to the car. This is the factory top boot. There's a black top fitted with a couple small flaws. I think there's three little flaws that they tried to tape up. Um, we've got the original jack, jack and handle in the trunk here, which is lovely to have. The, the carpet's kind of deteriorating a little in that corner. But you know, all back here is factory original Mallard blue. See the original spare, the original Michelin spare. So all that matches nicely. But a, yeah, pretty nice original trunk, never been touched. You can see how beautiful all the original paint is there. The blackened all the back nicely when the car got resprayed. I just took it for a drive and uh, the car needs a tune-up. It does pull well um, on acceleration. It is, it's really, really healthy, but the idling on the car is a little, a little rough. And uh, also noticed I've, I, I was switching into third gear every time and there is the synchros weak for third. I mean, it's something you can live with. Um, but if you want a really spectacular car, eventually you just wanna, you wanna do that third gear synchro. But it does run and drive fine the way it is. Suspension felt great, steering felt great, clutch was good. But yeah, thir a weak third gear synchro, 
and there's a little section I think of the exhaust that's just fouling the chassis you can hear a little bit of vibration on the on the exhaust system when you're driving it but um, so the car does have a few needs that need attending to but but uh, you know pretty straightforward simple stuff it does have 88,000 miles and uh, mechanically it does feel it does feel excellent besides that third gear synchro but it does need a tune-up you know I, the car probably needs valve adjustments and uh, ignition and the cars and the carbs need to be tuned and balanced and reset and it should idle beautifully but but no it pulls very very well on all six cylinders great oil pressure you can see the video just preceding this walk around video um, we had a mallard blue car a, about a month or two ago and uh, it didn't last long it's, it's a very very popular color uh, if you look at our, our still photos, you can just see how striking this, this very dark blue-green color is, especially when put against this tan interior. It's just spectacular. This is just really a lovely, lovely color. Um, we had a lot of interest in that car. One guy bought it, and then we had a lot of uh, interested backup offers. So, so this, is a, this is your next shot at getting a, a, a very, very decent you know, really sh cosmetically sharp TR6, but uh, similar to the other car. This has 88,000 miles on it, and um, I like this car. I like it a lot. It does need a few small things, but, you know, it doesn't take much to make it a, a quite a perfect car with a few little fixes. Uh, but it does run and drive now. You can enjoy it for the rest of the year and then, and then kind of tinker with it during the winter. So, um, lovely thing. Yeah, I think uh, this color is growing on me. I think it's one of my favorite tier six colors right now. But there you have it. I don't think this is gonna last long. And it's a 1974 Triumph TR6 convertible. Mallard blue on tan. Redline Michelin tires. It's a four speed luggage rack. It's cosmetically very, very nice. Mechanically really good. Needs a couple knickknacks, but uh, well, well worth the purchase and the investment to get a, those, those items fixed. It runs and drives currently very nicely. Everything works suspension-wise and steering and mechanically pretty good, so. And it's for sale right now on our website. We're coming into fall here and this is a this is a really, really good purchase to, to drive for the next few months and then uh, and then do uh, some of the knickknacks in the off season there. So and you can find it on our website www.kurttannermotorcars.com.